Now, are you a fan? Have you been desperately awaiting the new series? Well, premiere of the second series of the BBC drama Gentleman Jack is taking place in Halifax tonight. Filmed in and around West Yorkshire, it chronicles the exploits of Anne Lister. She was the owner of Shibden Hall, who defied convention in both her personal and professional life. I had a little sneak preview of uh, the first episode this afternoon. It's fabulous. Our reporter, Corinne Wheatley, is on the red carpet for us tonight. I hope you like it as much as I did, Corinne. Good evening. Yes, the red carpet has been rolled out at the Peace Hall in Halifax to welcome the stars of BBC drama Gentleman Jack. And where better to host the premiere of the second series? It tells the story of Anne Lister, 19th century Yorkshire landowner, who was daring, different, transgressive, broke lots of social conventions, described as the first modern lesbian. Now, we'll hear from the stars in a moment. But first of all, some people like you, Amy, have got an advanced, uh, have got an advanced viewing of the first episode of the second series. Uh, we caught up with some of the fans earlier on to see what they made of it. Oh, I thought it was wonderful. Yes, especially, yeah, it was, it was very true to the real story, so it was great. Yeah, it's the story of Anna and Mariana, so I'm a fan of Mariana and the Belcoms. Oh, it was amazing. Uh, I really can't wait for the second episode. Just wow. <laughs> Absolutely fabulous. Superb. Wonderful. Can't praise it highly enough fast pace and lots going on in there. It was very good. Really excited for the whole series. Well, the story of Anne Lister, repressed for so many years, is now famous the world over. And that's all down to creator and writer Sally Wainwright. Hi. Hello, congratulations. Thank you. Um, I know you've spent 20 years trying to get this story out there. Did you ever imagine that it would be so popular? No. <laughs> no, no. I, I don't think any of us could have anticipated the quite the response it's had you know you, you hope to get a good audience you have good reviews and you hope to entertain people but the, the the phenomenon the sort of gentleman jack effect as they're calling it uh you know people coming from all over the world the analyst festival next week that's been organized by the fans a 10 day event organized by the fans it's just i, I don't think any of us could have anticipated that well, we're also joined by Sarah. We didn't know whether we were supposed to be in or out, so we stood in like two naughty <laughs> sisters. Sarah <laughs> Jones uh, plays Anne Lister. Hello. Um, uh, what was it like slipping back into the role of this remarkable woman? I was just saying that I feel like the first time I was feeling my way and creating the character and then it really felt like we were coming home and you know to be at Shibden and to know it and to know the staff there and to just kind of stomp around the landscape and Sally made a character like you know um, so Shibden and the landscape of Yorkshire is so part of it it's beautiful it's wonderful it really did feel like coming home and then to have the support of everybody this time around and for them to know us <laughs> Um, it is, it's just gorgeous. <laughs> and we're also joined by Gemma Whelan, who plays Marianne Lister, long-suffering uh, long sister, sister yeah. of her uh, kind of strident uh, Anne Lister. What is it for you about this story uh, that is so inspiring? It means lots of things to many different people. I think it's just such an extraordinary tale of a woman, you know, sort of out of her time, or of her time, but doing things that were so extraordinary for the time and living so boldly in f in, on her front foot and really relishing it. And I think it's so inspiring to see that even then, it, you know, this, this woman existed as herself. And I think it's so inspiring for people to, you know, in any walk of life or demographic to see, to, to sort of go boldly. And, and that's why it's so inspiring, I think. And she's so sexy and exciting to watch for, for anyone it, I mean I, you know I, I fell in love with her and I'm her sister it gets complicated but um <laughs> but it's, it's just such a fantastic story and you know you can't get enough of it I just the more you read the more you learn about it the more incredible this woman was and her whole life was just you know recorded which is magic yeah magic Fantastic. Fantastic. and uh, Sally one of the questions as uh, lots of people want to know the answer to is they can't wait to see the second series will there be another one well, I, I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah no, I'd, li I'd like to, ideally, I'd love to tell the story of the rest of her life. Um, but, you know, we're dependent on viewing figures. <laughs> yes, 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 for joining us. Well, anybody who is not lucky enough to be at the screening tonight, 10th of April, 9pm on BBC One and on BBC iPlayer. Thank you, Corinne.